Now, do we know where it's headed? Tracking at a trajectory of 379.2 and 59 yards. Uh, there's a bunch of kids in the middle of the road. Molly, I need you to open a portal on my mark. Give me 10 feet clearance and a 10 second delay. On it. I don't believe this is a legitimate use of the PPM. Pipe me up. <laughs> Punch it, Chewy. Hell Summer gets. I don't understand. Have you heard of Summer Real Rookie? Of course, a super soldier, a hybrid of human and demon DNA, the agency's only success. Well, what you probably didn't know is that Jason and Summer have a thing. A thing? What kind of thing? The kind of thing that usually leads to a lifetime of love and happiness. You know, fairy tale kind of stuff. If I let this thing get to the park, then I've let Summer down. And I'm not gonna do that. Not again. Jason, turn left right now. Right? Left? Who said right? Who said that? I'm not gonna stop it in time. Damn it.
God, Summer, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Sing. Who's the cutie? Renee Phillips. We used to be friends. She was experimenting with witchcraft and she opened the portal that brought Summer here. She died. Another friend? Ricky Rodriguez. Turned into a demon, so Summer killed him. He died. The fact that I'm your friend, not to say, not looking too promising. And why people choose to live in the past? Because it's comfortable. There's no twist, there's no surprise. It's just predictable, horribly wonderful regret. Sir, if this is about Summer and you're feeling guilty for what happened at her wedding, rule number one, Evans, it's always about Summer. So, so she's in a dark place right now. She'll be fine in a couple of months. Her fiance was eaten by a giant worm, Evans. I'm not sure how quickly you bounce back. Just saying something doesn't feel right about what happened this summer. Really? Which part? I'm being serious, jackass. A sand slug is a sand slug. It's not really known for having a well-developed brain or anything. Your point? My point is. Is the sand slug attack summer's way? Why attack summer's way? And why not attack someone else? Or someone else? It was specifically targeting her. I'm just worried, Evans. I think summer's in danger. That's all. People, settle down. Listen up. There's been an abnormal amount of activity across the divide. Erratic temporal energy fluctuations and an increase in demonic portal crossings. Now, this all details a huge shift in dark magic. Now, investigative operations has been monitoring this traffic, and let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, something is brewing. Now, in addition, operations has also uncovered the theft of various electromagnetic equipment from different government facilities, the sort of equipment used to transfer large amounts of energy. Good tech or bad tech? We're talking about something that could wipe out half the northeastern seaboard. Bad tech. Now, we believe this is all connected to something larger. Marduk. Holly? Marduk, an evil, godlike creature worshipped in the pre-Babylonian era, destroyed by a group of high priests and trapped in the astral plane. Marduk is said to be forever looking for a new body that can act as a vessel for its limitless power. 
How do you know all this? Thank you, Holly. Mardok is attempting to become corporal again, that he is searching for a new body. Now, people, we cannot let this happen. We need... Summer. Oh, don't let me interrupt. Carry on. I know what you're thinking, but I am fine. Strong as ever. Struggling. Any leads, sir? Yes, one. Activate. Intel informs us that this is the man we're looking for. These are satellite surveillance photographs from a couple of weeks ago when three of our agents encountered this man who we're choosing to call Mr. X. That's Richard. He's good. No, he's very good. Now, people, I want to know who this Mr. X is, and I want to know now. And will somebody please clean up Summer? Present. Parks, I want a word with you. Have a seat. I want to talk to you about something that I didn't mention in the meeting because I want you to understand the gravity of the situation. The agents that were attacked by Mr. X, they were transporting a key artifact to one of our research facilities. It never arrived. Would never arrive, sir. The Book of Shadows. Activate. Our book. The one that brought Summer back. The one that, and I'm quoting you here, has such incredible powers, if it ever fell into the wrong hands. One and the same. Now, if this book is in Mr. X's possession, and he's interested in reincarnating Mardok, and he knows which phrases to recite, we've got a bit of a problem. Hmm. Now, I want you to do what you do. I want you to kick down doors. I want you to bust heads. Make this your number one priority. What about Summer? Summer. Well, I think she's being targeted. Summer can look after herself. That's what she was bred to do. Wait a minute. We're looking at Armageddon here, and you're musing over an ex-girlfriend? Put your head out of your ass. Get the mud out of your eyes. Are we clear here? If by mud, you mean shit. I do. Work with us. Your other left. Don't go in. What is wrong with you? Watch your tail. Okay, frag out, frag out. Sniper! Sni Up, stupid! Where do you think snipers are? Ulo. Leroy, do not be a hero. Do not be a hero. That is it. I am never playing with you again. Ulo! Agent Parks. Ulo? How's it going, Jay dude? I didn't even hear you knock. Let's go. We need to talk. Uh, screw you. No. No? You don't have much of a choice, Ulo. Not much of a choice? Screw you! You bust in here, you scare the shit out of me, you don't even knock, you don't ask how it's going or anything, you just come in all Terminator, we have to talk, let's go. You're not even close to Schwarzenegger. Where do I start on the list of ways that you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger? You're not governor of California, you never co-starred with Jesse Ventura, and you're not married to a Kennedy, for starters. You bust in here with your 10-year-old partner, I should be reporting you, because that's not right. Let's check your hard drive and see what's on it. So you think I'm gonna go with you because you scare me with your little kid? No way. I'm not going anywhere. You can suck my left ass ball. That's right, kid. I got ass balls. Look it up. Shoot him in the face. Mm. I'm gonna get some pants on.
in summer. I know you may have heard it all before, but things will get better. I promise. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm not meant to be with a man. From now on, I'm all over the ladies. Well, I don't know about that. That's taking it a little to the extremes, don't you think? I mean, anything's more... Fun. Jay, why so rough? You don't love me no more? I need info. Who's targeting Summer? I want it now, Bulo. Uh, sir, aren't we supposed to be finding out about Mardok? I'm getting to that. Mardok? Oh, man, you guys are royally boned. Evans, can you not question me in front of the demon? Remember, United Front, all that stuff? Yeah, sorry, sir. Summer, speak. Hey, come on, Jay. I thought you'd be happy that somebody did you the favor of eating Summer's fiance, huh? Leaves her open to your wily charms. Shut up, Bulo. I didn't want anything bad to happen to him. Didn't you? Enough of this, Bulo. Tell me what the hell is going on. Have you been to the other side lately, Jason? There's a huge power shift coming, all right? And if Mardok is really coming back, I'm sorry to say you guys are on the wrong side. And if somebody is targeting your girl, Summer, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near her. What are you saying, Bulo? I'm saying... Stay away from her. Bad things are going to happen, so I wouldn't go anywhere where she is. OK, look. Here's Summer. Here's you. Run! That's what I'm saying. Really? Hold on one second. Ollie, it's me. Is Summer with you? Yeah, boss. I told you I'd take care of her. So she's fine? I never said that. I'll be right there. Good, good, good. Yes, yes. Okay, shoot that guy. I, I did Evans, good. twice. Good. Evans, yeah. let's go. Come on. Okay, thanks for coming and throwing me up against the wall. Yeah, bye. I, I know you and Summer dated for a while, sir. But if it's affecting your judgment, I... Don't worry about me, Evans. Besides, I'm pretty sure Summer can take care of herself. I I've read her file. She is a killing machine, trained in multiple manners to make you dead. Death by decapitation. That's why I carry you. Hey guys. Oh, I, I thought I told you to look after Summer. I am. Look, I'm just having a great time. You got room to This isn't even a karaoke bar. How'd she get the microphone? Well, now that you're here, I'm leaving. Leaving? Yeah. With him. You, you have a date? Yes. No, that, 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 that's cool. <laughs> Sir, when did I become such a loser? It was a Tuesday. Hmm. Felt like a Monday. Well, go save Summer before she does any permanent damage. You're so amazing. You're driving me crazy. All right, let's go on the dial. Okay, let's get you to bed. Or here is fine. I'll get you a blanket.
the whole eaten by a giant worm thing, but you know. I've been so Should have been me. Too many nights without you. Feel like I lost many times. But maybe I'll I know. sleep. Good night, princess. The story keeps moving on. So many. you send an angel to you. I usually do this. What a joke. Oh, I didn't say anything about naughty things. I said bad things. Oh my god. I'm the bad guy. Hello. Weaver. Hey, Jay. <laughs> kind of late, isn't it? I can't sleep. Besides, I need to know more about Mardok. You think you can help me, Weaves? Yeah, no problem. Eggert said that this Mardok character is bad news. And I need to know how bad. <laughs> bad. Care to elaborate, Weaves? Oh, uh, sure. Just hand me that book over there. This one? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mardok, 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 Mardok. Oh, here you go. That is Mardok. Mardok the Cruel. Mardok the Conqueror. Mardok the Destroyer of Worlds. Piece of cake. These are all the severed heads of his enemies? Oh, no, it says here that they were actually his closest friends. Um. He granted them eternal life and infamy in the form of the 12 heads of Marduk. What's head number three's name? Yeah, doesn't say. Oh, uh, one more thing. The followers of Marduk all had this symbol carved into their chests. That's what you should be looking for. Summer? She was kind of out of it when I dropped her off last night. 
No, Holly. She didn't sign in this morning. Well, maybe she was tired from all that sex she was having. Dude, you gotta take a page from the Jason playbook and you gotta play it cool with the ladies. Trust me, you don't play it cool, bad things happen. Yeah? Trust me. Okay, uh, so how did it go with you and Summer last night? I kissed her. Yeah? On the forehead. <clears throat> what? I said on the forehead. Wow. You think I could borrow the Jason playbook sometime? I'd love to learn how to get me some forehead action. I just want to give her some time. I don't want to rush things back, OK? She knows all my tricks. How can I be that mysterious new love when she knows all my tricks? Learn new tricks. Learn new tricks, right. It's that easy, huh? I think so. I should check it out. And would that be playing it cool? No, that would be playing it hopeful and desperate, which also works from time to time. Shouldn't we be working on the Colonel's investigation of Mr. X instead of, I don't know, spying on your ex-girlfriend? We are working the investigation. Nice place you got here. Lots of space. Why did you pick the wrong house? I guess we'll see about that. wedding wasn't a coincidence. Someone is specifically targeting Summer, and we're going to find out who. Besides, it's not so much spying as it is stalking. She's 
क्या होना Summer must have been taken by surprise. Ah! Judging by the damage done to this place, whoever took her was good. Very good. We have any other cover. Stress call from Agent Weaver. Weaver, go ahead. Jason, the agency is under attack. You've got to get over here. What's your status, Weaver? Jason, you've got to get back here now. A poop. Weaver. Weaver. Damn it. So what's going on? The agency's under attack. Okay, let's go, everybody. Stay sharp. We don't know what the hell we're up against. X. He caught us by surprise. Easy, <laughs> easy. Well, how did you survive? Yeah. Lucky. Haggard? Not so lucky. Jason, if these events are coordinated, then Summer is in serious danger.
Why are you doing this? Because I told him to. left, including Weber. They had us hurt, Jason. With Colonel Hager dead, who's in charge? Until we get Summer back. I am. Okay, then. What's our next move? We rebuild. We reload. And then we strike back. Do I know you? Renee. I'm Renee. The one who helped you and Jason send the Killapoth back to its dimension. It was kind of a big deal. Oh, Renee. I remember you now. Weren't you dead? No, I wasn't dead. I was left for dead. Really? That is horrible. Who? By who? By you! Really? That doesn't sound like me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. How could you not remember me? The battle in the woods. We were all following your stupid plan when things got bad. Open! Meet strong! I saw that Jason was in trouble, so I took the attention of the Achillopoth away from him. Hey! And for my selfless deed, my neck was broken. No! But I wasn't dead. I watched you and Jason battle the demon back into its portal. Jason finally making that ever so heroic sacrifice. I watched you walk over to me, praying that you would help me. But instead, you took my jacket and left me to die. It was cold. I thought you were dead. Did you even check for a pulse? I want to say yes. I would shake my head if I could. Soon, with your help, I will. For seven days, I laid there, hungry, cold, and alone. I had made peace with my fate. It was then and there that God spoke to me. Mardok. He and I made a deal. Spare me my life, and I would do anything in my power to return him to his rightful position of ruler of this earth. Kyle showed up five minutes later. Like an angel. He picked me up, cleaned me, and took care of me. I will never forget that day. Just as you will never forget this one. Hello? Jason! Hi, buddy! What's happening? Huh? No, nothing. Uh, no, I'm... <laughs> you, I don't sound weird. You're weird. No, I'm not agitated. I'm just... Hold on. Yep. No, no. I'm gonna call you back. Jeez. Where are you going, Bulo? Uh, North Bay. <laughs> oh, to visit my family, you know. Go up there for a while, say hi to some people, have some fun. You know how it goes, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Just not in the face, guys, okay? Not in the face. <clears throat> going on vacation, huh? What's the M stand for? The M 
is for me. Yay, me! ended up the usual suspects, but they're not talking. And they all have the mark? Yeah. Mind if I have it? Thanks. No one's sitting here? Cool. Weaver seems to think that they're the 12 heads of Mardok reincarnated. This whole thing is bigger than one. Right. Sure. Right. Sir, he's a... Ma'am, sorry, you think he's a jerk. There's got to be something that we can do. Summer's in danger. We have no clue where she is or what's happened to her. And you and I both know that if Murdoch's plan succeeds, some is our best hope at stopping him. still hasn't turned in. I think whoever took Summer, it's a good bet they took her too. shadows. I will summon the Dark Lord Mardok, who will grant absolute and unequivocal power by penetrating me with his immortal essence. That sounded a lot less dirty in my head. I will stop you. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Summer, but you're really in no condition to stop anything, let alone a really pissed off witch. You let her touch me? Really? She's not even at full power. Do I have to do everything myself? Bring it. Well, if you insist. Ha do Ken. What? Ha do. That's what you got? I'll bet your girlfriend hits harder than that. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm sorry. She's not your girlfriend anymore. <laughs> she had to shack up with some other dude because you weren't man enough to satisfy her warrior needs. Guess she needed more than just poor old Jason. That's not what happened. Does it matter? 
it's over and you're still pining after her like some lovesick puppy? God damn it, somebody should put you out of your misery. Where's a sandworm when you need one? <laughs> Too soon. <clears throat> you know, when Mardok comes back, I'm going to be his number one and you're all going to be his cock muffin. <laughs> and Summer, she's going to be his whore. <laughs> Jason, Jason, we have a signal on Summer. Uh, well, it, it's faint, but it's where? Oh. <laughs> Do you have a signal? <laughs> Loud and clear. Okay. Oh, God. No! So, it's okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Get you the hell out of here. I don't understand, Jason. Summer's healing factor should have kicked in by now. Whoever attacked her, serious bad mojo. Is she gonna be okay, Weaver? She's Summer. Honestly, I don't know.
things get so bad. You once asked me who you were. And I realized that I can't even answer who I am. So how could I define a woman who is amazing on so many levels? Well, I'll try. I'm just a better man for having you in my life, son. And that's all I know. And you, you're Princess Somerville, and you don't stop. You persevere. You keep going. And I don't want you to give up now. Do you hear me? Summer, I do not want you to give up now. This is the part where you wake up, Summer. Ready to rock the world? Let's see some friggin' fireworks in here. Ascension, that's what I'm talking about. Ascension up your ass! No! Ho, 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 ho! I did not read the fine print. <laughs> uh, you know, you go first, and I will go right after. Yeah, you would. Uh, Jay? Jay, buddy? <laughs> you want him in? Jay! Get me out of here! What appears to be a swirling vortex has just appeared in the sky above the city. Get a shot of this. All right, back to me. We have no idea at this time what this amazing phenomenon could be. Without jumping to conclusions, I think it is safe to say that this could be, without question, the end of the world. Thank 
miss anything? How do you feel? I think my body went into some kind of shutdown mode to heal itself. God, some of you thought you were dead. Don't be silly. You know, that's the first time that the world went to hell and I would have gladly held the door open for it. How very inconsiderate of you. What can I say you have that effect on me? How bad? Uh, if you believe the news reports, it's the end of the world. Look on the bright side. If we don't show up for work tomorrow, nobody's gonna notice. Um, summer after your fiance was eaten by the giant sandworm. I mean, I didn't want to move in too fast, you know. I wanted to give you some time to digest the. That was a poor choice of words. That was a really poor choice of words. I shouldn't have said that. I'm so sorry, I, I don't know what, what are you doing? We have to stop her. Who? Renee. Renee? Are you serious? I thought she was like. Dead? No, she's still a witch. I think it's way more power. I'm still a little weak. She still has my strength. No idea how much that pisses me off. Renee can wait. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's gonna kill everyone. Summer, you nearly died. I'm just worried about you, that's all. I know. It's cute. I've always liked that about you. That in your chin. I always liked your chin. Jason? Summer? Sure. <laughs> um. We really have to come take a look at this. Jason? Thank you. I owe you one. Please, you've got to get me away from these freaks. No offense. Seriously. Sorry, Bulo, you made your bed. I know, I know, but I want a new bed. Uh, one with nicer pillows. The ones with chocolate on them. <laughs> Come on, I'll do anything. I'll do dishes. I'll scrub toilets. Sorry, Bulo. I'll give you the coordinates of the castle. And you'll help us bring Murdoch down. Dude, come on. Forget it then. Fine, fine. I'll help you bring him down to Chinatown. Just get me out of here. Hmm. All right, then. <laughs> My new family. Touch me. Right. Cousins. Totally platonic. Behave. All right, let's suit up. Let's suit up. Just me? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, God, isn't that always the way? Get all geared up to kill demons and then you gotta pee. Hey, Jay, a little help? Jay? <laughs> 
If Renee succeeds, then Mardok will take over her body and she will become unstoppable. We have to stop the changeover before it's complete. How do we do that? Well, we have to interrupt the transfer and we have to break Renee's concentration. Without an anchored host, then the transfer will fail. Mardok will remain in his banished realm. Well, how the hell do we get into the castle? It's 300 meters in the air. Well, using the coordinates you gave us. You're welcome. Uh, I will be attempting to blind jump you guys into the castle. We have to get close enough to the castle for Weaver to triangulate the positioning. It'd be incredibly tricky. Well, I mean, if I miss, you guys could end up fused to the castle walls and dying. Oh, well, at least it'll be quick and painless. Oh, my no. As a matter of fact, it'd be extremely painful. An eternity of torment. It, it would be like suffering an endless death. Great. We all knew that it would be risky, Brulo. Oh, I disagree. But Weaver is the best at what he does. I don't remember signing up for a suicide run. Oh, you're a man, be a man. Whoa, half man, half demon. I want to say balls to that. Why do I want to say balls to that? Then be a half man like you're a demon. You'll be fine, Brulo. Don't miss. All right, everyone. Let's go save the world. How do you do that? Seriously. You guys get porn on this? This is wicked. The time for Mardok's resurrection is near. Ready to tell me. to my little friend. How much longer, Weaver? I almost got you. Strength, so be careful. 
Hey, if we end up fused to the castle walls because we were screwed up, if we end up in a never-ending death, I just want you to know that. Tell me later. Everybody okay? Can't even begin to describe the awesomeness of all this. Get off. No, just a little to the left that I'm broke. Now! Oh. Weaver must have messed up the X and Y coordinates. Uh, Jay? so long. I was beginning to worry. Oh, well, you'd be surprised at how bad traffic is when there's a giant castle in the middle of the city. Where's Renee? She'll join us soon enough. But I think I'm more than a match for you. I already beat you once. You were lucky. Maybe. You're outnumbered. Am I? turn out to be all bitch, so in my mind, this is a huge improvement. to business no hi renee long time no see glad to see you're not dead honestly what you've done renee i can't say that i approve what do i care summer left me to die you left me to die it was kyle who found me and took care of me oh well how very sweet of you kyle taught me the importance of power of never being helpless and with the power of mardok in me the world will tremble at my feet, and I will never be powerless. I... 
Fubo? <laughs> what are you doing? I thought you were on our side. Oh, uh, yeah, here's what happened. Uh, you were... And, and Jason, and Summer came and, uh... Mardock, right, was... Uh, I've always been more of a boob guy. Enough! It doesn't matter. You will all witness my greatest moment. And the world will beg me for mercy. I can't let you do this, Renee. Bitch, please! <laughs> Summer, I thought I was rid of you. I guess you just have to toss me out of a higher castle. Nutwads, right? Right, but said with more style and coming from someone who's not a monkey. Go to hell, Mendo Roti and Carno Okay, uh, my name is Bulo. Uh, 
How, how are you? Uh, I used to be president of the Mardok fan club, but you know kids these days always letting their idols fade. I'm into Lady Gaga right now. Hey, there, there, teddy bear. We're all good here. <laughs> on your knees, Toad. Oh, on my knees? Oh, yes, sir. Good idea. <laughs> I need an emissary. Someone to help communicate with the other maggots. Oh, well, good thing I'm fluent in maggot. <laughs> I will usher in a new world order. One that sees me take my rightful place as ruler of all. <clears throat> How dare you interrupt me? Yeah, I know. It could be a bad judgment call. It could be a good one. Well. Uh, well what? What is it? You interrupted me mid-sentence. What is it that you would like to say? Oh, yeah, right. Um, just that, all that New World Order stuff. I kind of heard it before. Really? From where? Have you met the Selman and Fairies? Well, I do that right now. You beat me with still my thunder. There's also one other thing. Yes. You're about to get totally wrecked. Why do you insulate me? Jason, don't do this. Fight, damn you, fight! transfer your power into Jason, saving his life and making you normal? I know what I'm doing. Are you sure this is going to work? I mean, this could kill you, right? Sometimes you just have to have a little faith. Oh, bitch. I 
stomach. He saved my life. What did you do? What I had to do. Saved my life again. Who's counting? Uh, summer eight and Jason two. Let's start over. Okay, zero zero. I'm all for that. No, <laughs> I mean hi. I'm Summer. Hi. I'm Jason. Pleasure. And what do you do for a living, Summer? Honestly. Watch your stuff. Where are we going? Trust me, okay? It's a surprise. Let me ask you a question. Do you miss it? Miss what? You know, the action, the adventure, the superpowers, the whole shebang. You know, I kind of like being normal. So much more people. Okay, right here. I'll be right back. Right there. Do not move, okay? Okay. All right. Summer, I brought you here to the place where we first met, in the middle of the woods. The place where we first fell in love. I tell you that, I tell you that, even though you do deserve better, that you would make me the happiest man in the world. If you would do me the, do me? Do me the honor of being my wife. Jason? No, I should be on my knees. No. Make me the happiest man in the world if you would do me the honor of being my wife. I done? You need to be asking yourself that question. You didn't really think that killing a god would go unnoticed, did you? Or unpunished? Well, I was kind of hoping that he was going to turn the other cheek, yeah. You've changed everything. And soon, the consequences to your actions will be real. Tramp. Get away from my man. Now that's who I paid to see. I am so beyond that stage. I thought you were dead. I haven't been completely honest. When did you get your powers back? True. Almost instantly. <clears throat> Allow me. Ding, ding, ding. In this corner, we have a lightweight. 105.
Kyle, your presence at the genitum is required. I take it Project Winner was a success? Completely. Here's to the future. To the future. Cold in my skin, cold in December, 